That one right there, boy, that was uh, just how we drew it up. Um, give uh, give Rutgers a lot of credit, man. I think they're a really, really good team. I really do. They're, they're at full strength now. They were at full strength in their last game. <clears throat> um, and the two guys that were out for a couple of their games really make a difference uh, for him. Mulcahy in particular. He just is so disruptive and such a good player. Um, older physical team. I thought um, you know, the big kid made a heck of a block there at the uh, on Bryce's uh, drive, and uh, thought our guys stayed with it, played played it um, till the very end. We gave him two calls uh, at the uh, at the end uh, based on a make or a miss, and um, you know we practiced those situations a lot. What they did is they did a really good job, kind of taking away his ability to get it down the floor. Having said that. Um, Bruce made a really poised decision, and uh, what a heck of a shot by Tanner. So, so it was going to be an adjustment to Big Ten play for Tanner, and it obviously is, but how do you think he handled that moment and just not having scored before that? What can you say about delivering? Well, he made a – the kid's a – he's a gamer. I mean, he, he's made big shots his whole life, really. He's made big shots. I mean, he made a – I think a game-winning reception as a wide receiver in the state championship game. Like he's just—he's a gamer. He's got to get better defensively against this level of physicality and athlete, and uh, he's really got to improve on that end. But man, I'm, I don't want to—I don't want to get into that too much tonight because I'm just really happy for the kid. Really happy for him. You—you you subbed him in for justice with like, the, in, I think, with five seconds to go. What what went into that decision to to put him on the court? Yeah, part of it, um, Adam, uh, if I'm being honest, was um, uh, he is our best long inbound. So uh, I'll, I'll give you a little bit of our thinking here. So um, when they were at the line the first time, we anticipated them fouling. Um, so we went to a full court, full court action that would allow us to potentially get a shot off um, without them having a chance um, to foul, or else we would have inbounded it in the backcourt. And so we tried to inbound it down the floor, um, and they did a pretty good job taking it away, and um, they ended up fouling. Bruce makes two free throws. And then we had Tanner's our best long passer. Um, so we wanted to sub him back in um, to run a similar full court action because he's – uh, you know he's got a really good arm, and uh, Justice can do it too. But it was it was that and, and just feel. So if you're, you're anticipating they're going to make both free throws then to put you down three, um, and you're planning on uh, Tanner being the guy taking the ball out. And instead, he's the guy taking the three. Yeah. How much did the play unfold? How you scripted it, and how much did guys have to freelance it? Not much. Yeah, not much. They took they took it away. You know. Uh, the three Bryce hit uh, that they called the illegal screen on was exactly how we drew it up, um, um, but that was that was all them. Then the poise of Bryce to get the rebound, get yes. it up to Bruce yeah. to make a play like that along yeah. the baseline. Uh, you're getting plays like that from two freshmen with the game on the line. Yeah. Uh, what do you what did you see from them? Now we do the practice that situation on the free throw line, a two or a three point game. Let's get right into our full court action. Um, get it to Bruce, get it to our point guard. He's our best decision maker. Bryce did a good job there. The, I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a really good point because I just said that in the locker room. That's a minor thing, but you know, you want it your most poised guy in that situation with the ball, and, and Bruce is that force. I think you right before that. I think it looked like you were talking to Bruce on the side. I'm sure you're just telling him if this, then this, if yeah. this, then this. But in those moments, like what, what do you sense from him? As a freshman who's in that moment, he has the ball with probably the best defender in the league yeah. hounding him near the yeah. sideline. Just you mentioned his poise, but it, it doesn't seem like a normal kind of freshman response to that kind of moment. No, he's he's really tough, guys. He's really tough. The plays he made uh, defensively, uh, the loose ball recovery, timeout, the charge were as good of game-changing plays um, by a freshman that I've that I've seen honestly that I've coached you're talking about in the guts of the game those are two critical plays um, and again Steve does an unbelievable job with this with this Rutgers team I think they're very good I want to make sure 
that they that I, I, I that everybody hears that. But yeah, he's he really does have great poise. He's used to winning, and as much as anybody I've ever coached at a young age, he plays to win. And not every kid plays to win, or understands what playing to win looks like. He was extremely well coached in high school. He understands what playing to win is, and those two plays that he made embody that. You know, kids kids think in. Like Bruce, Bruce didn't score it that well tonight, and he was engaged the entire game. So he's mature, understands playing the win, and that's why I've said, you know, he's hard to take out of the lineup right now. But watching you on the scorer's table as the last play unfolds, and you didn't react like I would think a coach would react when a last-second shot goes in to win the game. You just kind of sat there and watched it. Uh, you want you want me to run around? No, I just I, yeah. I mean, I would enjoy that. So okay. I just kind of wonder, like, is what is going through your mind? I want to make moment? sure it was good first. Yeah, yeah. want to make sure. Were you worried about Bryce? Were you worried about Tanner being in bounds? Were you worried about any specific mechanics? No, of that? because because whether that was the case or not, it's I, I I totally understand your question. Whether that was the case or not, it's it's a live ball, right? Officials are gonna you know make the right call they're going to miss some calls um those things tend to usually even out um but uh i just in that moment um you know it was it was, it was an emotional moment for sure and uh i just wanted to make sure that the game was actually over yeah yeah you guys don't have ice tonight and i know his stats don't always show what he does on the court but obviously Bruce has to play more, but beyond that, what what did you miss not having him tonight? And do you passing, have uh, decision making, and then his ability to guard their bigger guards. Mulcahy, he's a real load um, with the ball in his hands. Um, I think there are certain teams in the league where you're like, hey, we need to have this guy, and I can think of like three teams right now. This was one of them. Um, well, I just said we have that, you know. But uh, listen, our, our thoughts are with with Isaac uh, and his 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 family and his. Um, it's a very personal situation to him. Uh, he's really had he's he's went through some really difficult things with people he really cares about. So um, uh, there's no real timetable on his return. Zed, especially first half, was I think as as good as you could ask going against the guys that he's going with. Yeah. Did you sense anything different from him before this game to get him fired up, or was it just his night? I think he knows how good the guy playing opposite him is. I mean, that kid was a five-star. He's going into his third year. You have a five-star player going into his third year, and he was, he was a top-20 player in the country his third year. He's going to be a dominant college player, um, and that's what that kid is going to He's going to be a dominant player this year. Um, so I think he knew cl how good Cliff was, and I just think he's trying to um, – listen, he's played very well offensively, played very well on the glass, continues to make free throw. I just love his development. But he's got – he's got you know, defensively, he's got to tie us together better. Zed Key, to me, in the first half, looked like he was as engaged as he may have ever been. And diving on the floor for loose balls, getting offensive rebounds, putbacks, tips. He was doing a little bit of everything for you. He had a three. Just how important is it for you to have that Zed Key as often as humanly possible? Yeah, I like just said to Patrick, I think, he, I think you're exactly right. I think he was highly engaged in this game. And he, knew, he knows how good this Rutgers team is. And he knows how good... Um, their big kid is. So I think that obviously ha really had his attention. But I think he's been very consistent for us offensively. Again, the and, and on the glass, terrific in those areas. The areas he has to continue to grow in is is our his ability to tie our defense together. He's in so many pick and roll situations. He just has to continue to get grow in that area. Your administration, I think, really rocked the vote here today. They got some tickets into the hands of a lot of people that haven't been coming to the games. And you got 14,000 people here tonight. And you just hope that what you guys put out there tonight is enough to get more and more people coming. Because it's obvious that uh, the efforts were, were pretty much appreciated by a lot of people, I think. Yeah, credit to our, credit to our administration and our ticket people for, for doing that. And uh, I thought our students were phenomenal, again. Um, 
you know, I, I, I'm just amazed. The last two years, we've sold out season tickets in, in record time. I think it's been back to 2000 and maybe 12 or 13. Uh, they've sold out so quickly, and our students are engaged, and they bring in just a different element. But to your point, Steve, I also think we had, we had a lot of other people who came. And, you know, hopefully they had a good time. Chris, I think we talk maybe every week about Bryce's defense. Yeah. I think tonight maybe was his best defensive performance of the year. Let me watch the tape yeah, on yeah. that, okay? <laughs> but uh, the effort there that, that he put out yeah. there, how, how do you continue to get that from him and just let him see what he did, I guess? I think the standard is um, he's got he's to be really committed on that end or else it'll affect his, you know, like any player, it'll affect how much he can play. So I think he's got to... Um, he wants to get better uh, in, in all the areas that he's not, you know, people talk about his defense, but all the areas that he's not quite where he needs to be yet, he's really hungry to get better. Bryce is a tremendous kid, been raised really well. He wants to get better, and he will. Um, he was highly engaged tonight, and, and we need him. And, I, again, I thought, you know, the play that we uh, put him in, I thought maybe he could get to his left step back. That was kind of what I was hoping. Um, similar to kind of what EJ did against Duke, but uh, again, that kid made a great play. Everybody had to step up because Ice was out. How did you think, like the pregame, the talk of the players needing to do that? Did you see that throughout the game? Then? Yeah, I thought um, I thought Roddy gave us some really good minutes, and I think depending on how long Isaac is out, Roddy's going to need to play a really important role um, for this group. One more th thing about Bruce um, when they're pressuring the way that they pressure and using their bodies, the way they use their bodies to guard you. I mean, he played until I think they played like 30 minutes without a break. Um, the physicality that he seems to be able to handle at this stage of his career. Did you know that he would be that ready to play that many minutes against this kind of team? I don't think you know that. Um, you certainly can have um, – we evaluated him a lot. And uh, Jake did a phenomenal job recruiting him. But we really saw him play a lot, Adam. So, you know, in his situation, like we pretty kind of we, we knew his game inside and out. We knew how well coached he'd been, the high level he played at, how much of a winner he was. Um, but I, I think it's it would have been much for me to say, you know, back in a couple summers ago, yeah, Bruce is going to play 38 minutes in the first game of the Big Ten season against one of the best defensive teams in the country. I don't think I would have went that far. Uh, but I would have fit, said he's going to play a very important role. And when you know you're going to be without ice and not very long before this game is going to be played, how did you have to scramble quickly and maybe teach some guys like Roddy and, and yeah. some guys that are going to have to play a bigger role, like how to try to play against their pressure? Yeah, we, we had to simplify some things, and I think you saw we had a couple play busts in the first half because of um, we had, you know, I had to teach Justice now three positions because uh, he's backing up the point. So we just weren't as clean as we needed to be with some of those play busts. I think you saw it with we tried to we tried to simplify it, but even some of our simple things, um, it was just hard because it was you know for for Isaac we just had this conversation you know he had, uh, yesterday afternoon, so it was a pretty quick uh, turnaround for us. Uh, Coach, you guys saw several different looks from them defense yeah. or on. Offensively, obviously they had some man. They mixed in several different zones. Sure did. You know, how do you feel your offense reacted to that, and how do you feel Bruce reacted to that as well? Good, good. Um, yeah, they had a one-three-one. Uh, they had a, a two-three that can morph into a man-to-man. -man. They had a one-three-one that can morph into a man-to-man. -man. Uh, they had a man-to-man -man that's the sixth best defense in the country. So imagine all of that uh, with a freshman point guard. I thought his decision making was really good. We just wanted to be aggressive against their changing defenses. That was the biggest thing. Don't be tentative. Be aggressive. I thought it. Sean hit an early three against it. Um, I thought we got some some. Um, we weren't great with all the changing defenses, but I thought we were okay. Um, and uh, all things considered, with some of the youth we had out there, I thought we I thought we did a pretty good job with it.